Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Staying Forever Strong. Today I'm with a good friend of mine, Stacy Bishop. She's a mom of two teens and she's a yoga and meditation instructor and a, she- a, a plant-based chef. Hey Stacy, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm happy to be here. Oh, good. I'm glad. So how have you been holding up with uh, the quarantine and quarantine? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am a what I'll call a self-proclaimed wordy. Do not trust me with any kind of grammar or correct type of wording, but... <laughs> I use that whole quarantine, the T-E-E-N, to describe what I'm in because I I have two teens and we are, we're doing okay. We're um, learning some life skills, we meaning them, (laughs) Um, and just um, trying to enjoy this um, detour. Yeah. So have you been homeschooling them or are they doing it like themselves? (laughs) So it's been quite the adventure. So when we started... The, the schools were just like not prepared for this. So they had a very like loose type of schooling and it was just new for everyone. And then they had spring break. And then when they came back from spring break, they had a whole regiment and, and my kids are more self-motivated. So I am not homeschooling. I've heard some homeschool horror stories from some <laughs> of my friends. So I am so grateful that they are taking care of their own educating so I'm doing life education but not the academics that's good yeah I don't know if I could ever like teach someone it's like I mean I could help with like the little like the smaller stuff but I don't know if I could actually teach like but teachers are like very much more appreciated I would hope by now you got a little gar- garbled in there but oh um I know I said I, I bet teachers are now like more like appreciated. Oh, you're, you're not kidding. They do. Right. Cause that, right. There's no break. And, and so parents are seeing the good, the bad and the ugly in their children with yeah. no source of relief. Yeah. Um, so how are you holding up during all this? How are you like, we all kind of go like through ups and downs and how are you like staying strong? That's a great question. And a few ways that I am staying strong are, one, I've really taken on a new passion and that's planting plants. And so I've been very intimidated, just like anything that we, we do, like we've talked about, you know, that is different or uncomfortable or not something we've done before. It feels so scary. So I've been wanting to grow some herbs and um, veggies for quite some time. So I took the plunge and I ordered this little self-starter kit and my son helped me and it, it's it been amazing. So I have five different herbs I'm growing and two of them have sprouted through and it is just so beautiful to watch and it helps my mood and to see life happening underneath my roof is so inspiring. So that's one way. <laughs> And I'm trying to think of other ways, meditation. So before all this started, this quarantine, I was teaching meditation and yoga hybrid classes to individuals and to businesses and so traveling to people's homes and offices and that all stopped. So I didn't get to share one of my passions that I, I love. So I've been offering it virtually I've offered a couple of plant-based food prep classes and some movement and meditation. And when I teach, I find that it gets me into that moment of being present. And I find the challenge to being home is it's our office, it's our school, it's our space of, of relaxation, our source of relaxation, it's our food, it's everything under one. So how do we kind of compartmentalize that? So we can connect to those different parts of us. So I've found that it's very important for me, I think, to kind of put it under an umbrella is to almost compartmentalize my different needs. So when I, I need to feel social, I'll hop on a Zoom call with my friends, my girlfriends, and we'll just laugh. And just if I want to connect to that creativity, I'll go into my professional meditation and create something and share it with others. And if I want to feel 
kind of like that mom, connected to my mama Stacy part, I'll, I'll plan an activity for my kids and I to do and to have together like a game night or something like that. And all those different pieces connect so that I don't detach because so many times in my life I've detached from yeah. what felt alive within me. No, I see that. I that I could see that. And I think that's so cool that like you're doing all these different things and in one space. So it's like, you're still like using that space, but it almost feels different. Absolutely. And I think for my children and I, that helps. And so, you know, we went into the kitchen and we had a smoothie project. And then, like I said, my son helped me with the planting. So just getting in touch with, and of course, oh, there's one I forgot to share my, that really helps me is my dog. Oh. So he is my best friend and my unconditional love. And he's a rescue dog. And his name is Tex, but like, I call him Shadow because he follows me around. And I, I don't eat anything that's from an animal just because it originally grossed me out. And now, you know, animal welfare is important. But to have this unconditional love from this, this animal has just, and I'm not like an animal person where I'm a dog person and I love, love, love. I like dogs. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. He just found his way into my heart and he has been such a source of calming and love for me. So that has really helped me in some, you know, of these roller coaster times, calm my nerves. Uh, yeah, no, they're great. And I feel the same way. I'm more like, I like dogs and they're cute and they're whatever, but I'm not like, obsessed like people a lot of people are which is but either way it's still great however you are (laughs) absolutely yeah absolutely but I've like found this new appreciation for you know that um, companionship and I think the other thing is you know I teach meditation but just taking some quiet time whatever people get so turned off and scared by the word meditation. And it's really just a word of slowing down and we're all forced to slow down now. So just slowing down and pausing and just breathing deeply, connecting to your body and your mind and giving ourselves permission. So that's another thing that I try and do because my daily was very busy and, you know, now it's just not. So taking that time to slow down and to breathe a little deeper and to appreciate the simple things in life. It's very cold here the last couple of days, but when it gets warm, I just stand outside and I feel that sun shining on, on me. And I just, I appreciated it before. Yeah. Now I just appreciate it even more. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. That's nice. It is. I love being outside when I can. So Absolutely. And, and that's one thing that we can do and we, we can enjoy is being yeah. outside. So it's, it's almost like shifting from what we can't do to what we can, you know, yeah. shifting that perspective because that's what it is. We're always going to have limitations. Slash exactly. And it's so easy to focus on the negative and what we don't mm-hmm. have. And especially in these times, because, you know, there's a lot of lacking, but there's also a lot that we have. And for my teens in this quarantine, I've seen them be able to take a, a, a deep breath and to learn to do laundry and to, to go mm-hmm. on runs and exercise on their own and to make their own smoothies and, and help out in different ways. So there, you can always find something positive, even through all the negative. Yes, I so agree. And thank you so much for coming on and talking with us and sharing your story and your ways of staying strong. Um, I'm definitely been wanting to try out yoga and meditation more. So I'm going to definitely talk to you. (laughs) Um, Yeah. Is there anything else you want to say? No, just thank you so much for having me. It's been my honor to be here and share and you have just such a wonderful message to share. So thank you for bringing me along for the ride. And I would love to teach more to you about meditation and yoga and experience it. Yeah, I would love that. So thank you. And this was another episode of Staying Forever Strong. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.